congratulations on your victory today. Tell a few words about the game, please. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it was a uh, quite interesting game. Uh, it was a fight in opening, Sicilian. And uh, at some point, I think uh, I got a pleasant position. Then he went for some complications, which uh, objectively I knew that uh, it was should be good for me. But I had to find some precise moves uh, with uh, with the time running. But uh, I was uh, uh, luckily for me, I was uh, accurate uh, calculating, and I could could win the game. The Cuban team is doing extremely well so far. What did you do to prepare as a team? Well, we came very motivated and uh, we did some training for for 10 days probably before before coming and it was actually uh, very good. We felt uh, very well, I mean the whole team and of course we are very happy now that uh, it's it's going well for us but uh, we, we know that we have to keep uh, focus until the end. Cuba has a large tradition of uh, chess, obviously, due to former world champion uh, José Raúl Capablanca. What does it mean for today's chess in Cuba? Well, uh, it's uh, really popular. And uh, I know that now that uh, we are doing so well here, uh, people are following like crazy this tournament. Um, uh, everybody's very happy and everybody's sending uh, their best uh, uh, witches and support and it's uh, very nice. Is it also on television like it is here in Norway following the games live for five six hours a day? Uh, I'm not sure but uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if at some point they, they would do it because uh, it's uh, uh, like a unique situation for us. We, we uh, never did so well in, in Olympiads so far. How many Olympiads did you personally participate in? Uh, well, I'm not sure. My first was in Istanbul in 2000. Uh, since then, I'm playing uh, all of them. I don't know if, uh, how, how different is an individual competition from a team competition like the Olympiad? Well, you, uh, at least in my experience, uh, I think it uh, gives you more motivation because. Uh, I don't know, but I, I tend to do very well in team events, not only playing for Cuba, but also playing for uh, clubs. And I think uh, the difference is this, that you have to you have extra motivation with your teammates and, and everything. Well, thank you so much and the best wishes for the, you and the Cuban team. Thank you. Hi, Murara. You are from Rwanda. Is this your first time outside of your country? Uh, yes, it is. And what are your impressions? Is it very different here? Yeah, really different in case of the temperature and uh, also uh, here it's m much more developed, developed than Rwanda. What is the best thing you like here compared to your country? Uh, here I saw it's more beautiful and uh, like I like, uh, I, uh, I really like the house that we live now. It's better than our house that we have in Rwanda. You are only 10 years old, one of the very youngest participants in this entire Olympiad. How does it feel to see so many world-class players, the world champions and adults playing against adults? Yeah, at first uh, I was really scared. I say I will, I will like, lose every match. I was really scared. But then, but then when I started playing, it gave me experiments experience and make me want to continue more chess. When did you start playing chess? How old were you? I was five years old. Do you love chess a lot? Yeah, really a lot. How often uh, do you practice? Every day. Every day when we're at home, except when we're, we, we went somewhere, so I, there's no chess there, but like every day at home I play. Are there a lot of girls in Rwanda who play chess? Not that much, but then there are many, a little, yeah. Okay, I wish you best of luck for the rest of your games here and uh, enjoy your time here. Thank you.